One of the most greatest pictures I've ever seen. Captain America beating the crap out of Iron Man. Oh my god. That poor crap out of here. Hey you guys, it's Dark Warrior 390 and you like the hair headphones I got? Hmm, pretty nice, huh? Uh right now I'm uploading my video that I just did, which is the uh Dark Warrior 390's game collection, which I just did like what, twenty minutes ago, like ten minutes ago? And yeah. Um, this is my movie review on Iron Man 2, which I saw on Friday. And Friday, I did get that Splinter Cell game before I went to the movies, which, and you know, I got it for my dad, because we like to play Xbox. Well, he doesn't really have, well, really play Xbox 360 a lot, but I do, so we just share, share it a lot. Um... This is what I'm saying about the Iron Man 2 movie. After I came out of that movie, it was a little boring. One reason is this, why it was so boring. It just didn't have enough fighting scenes. Too much story. And, I mean, I know that they try to have, like, a little story and have the background of Ivan and, you know, stuff like that. But just, you know, it's just... I mean, it's supposed to be a superhero movie. A superhero movie is supposed to have a lot of action in it, right? And I don't know why it just doesn't. I mean, come on, man. It's it's a superhero movie. And what else did not like about it? Uh, sorry, said there's not enough fighting scenes. What was there? Like two fights between Ivan and Iron Man. And that was the first fight when he was at that race car thing. And then the last fight at the end of the movie. And what else was there? Oh, his that fight we, uh, before, uh, with uh, War Machine. Oh, God. It's still just... I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just... Not really a good movie. I mean, it's a good movie. I mean, you should go see it. It's just... Not ri I thought it was going to be more. I mean, I like the idea how he had that little V thing in it. You know, he had that laser lightsaber shit coming out of his hand and shit. So, it was... I mean, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good movie. But, just wish there was more fighting scenes. And didn't really... They just really evolved around, like, the story. More about the story and stuff like that. They should have just focused on the movie and stuff like that and the fights come on if people want to see fights if you want to see action not some boring ass storyline if i wanted to see a storyline with like deep emotions and shit i would watch lifetime but i don't well if i had to rate this movie what would it be i would give this an honest six out of ten 6 out of 10. Very decent. I say it's a very decent movie. I also like the fact how they had their little folder where they said Avengers. And I do have the... Do have the comic book right here. Uh, with Juggernaut. Avengers. Yeah, Avengers. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, hope they make an Avengers movie. Hope they make a Captain America movie. Because... They gotta have, if they have Avengers, they gotta have Captain America. So, yeah. I give it a 6 out of 10. If you wanna go see the movie, go see the movie. If you don't, don't. Or you can either just get a rental at, like, Netflix or something like that. Or TV, it may come on TV, you know? So, uh, I think, which is better? If you had to say which is better, the first one or the second one, I would pick the second one. Even though that had evolved around the story, it has some pretty go good, uh, like, scenes. Where stuff was blowing up, and, you know, they were in Afghanistan. That was pretty tight. So, uh, yeah, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. And this is my movie review on, on, uh, Iron Man 2. And my next review... My next review... Uh, no, I won't do Final Fantasy. My next review... Will be... 
There we go. On Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. So get ready for that, because that's coming up next. This is Dark Warrior. Bye.